Discord users are leaking Zelda artwork and US military secrets. As far as we know, two unrelated stories, but let's get into it and I'll tell you about what's been going on. Nintendo is on the hunt for a leaker that released over 200 pages of a collector's edition art book for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Initially, the leak happened via Discord back in February, as reported by Eurogamer at the time. The entirety of the art book was posted to a fan channel called Tears of the Kingdom official Discord server. Just to clarify really quick, Nintendo does not run any official Discord servers, so obviously a fan-made server. Anyways, once the leak dropped, Nintendo immediately issued DMCA requests to Discord and anywhere else the images started popping up in order to have them removed. But now Nintendo has filed a subpoena that could require Discord Incorporated to reveal the identity of a user named Julian with a Discord ID of 2743. Specifically, the court filing states that Nintendo of America is requesting Discord to disclose the identity, including the name, address, telephone number, and email address of the user Julian2743, who is responsible for posting infringing content. Now, if Discord says no, the US government could step in and try and force the company's hand, but things likely won't get that far. Many larger tech companies like Google and Apple take government requests on a case-by-case -case basis and have in the past successfully and lawfully refused to share certain bits of information. But in this case, it seems clear that a Discord user used the platform to break copyright laws. So it's pretty likely their identity will be revealed to authorities and to Nintendo at the very least. There's some other reasons why Discord is very likely to play along here, which we'll get into in a second. As reported by Polygon, this isn't the first time Nintendo has relentlessly tracked down a leaker. Back in 2019, a Pokemon Sword and Shield strategy guide was leaked on 4chan, which then made its way to Discord. The leaker was sued and subsequently settled to pay Nintendo a fine of $150,000. If the Zelda art book leaker is found, they will likely share a very similar fate. Unfortunately, video game art books and the strategy guides aren't the only thing being leaked on Discord. The Wall Street Journal reported just yesterday that one of the most significant leaks of highly classified US documents in recent history began among a small group of posters on a tiny Discord server. According to the journal, documents which appear to have numbered in the hundreds stayed among the members of the tiny group on the Discord messaging platform until early March when another user reposted several to a much larger Minecraft server. Many of the documents were labeled secret or top secret and contained sensitive details about the war in Ukraine, intercepted communications about US allies such as Israel and South Korea, and details of American penetration of Russian military plans. The leak also contained information about the type of weapons being used by Ukrainian forces in the US, precise details about dwindling ammunitions, protection levels for critical infrastructure sites, and statistics about active tanks, artillery, and aircraft in Ukraine. Now, all of this is obviously way above our pay grade here for a YouTube channel that focuses on video game news, but the story does go on. Reportedly, a number of Telegram users known for posting Russian propaganda found the documents and began reposting them, only they edited them to inflate Ukrainian battlefield casualties and to minimize Russian ones. Telegram is primarily a direct messaging app, but it also does have groups and servers. It's believed the initial leak did not originate from Russia, at least by Ukrainian officials, and its wider distribution on a Minecraft Discord server seemingly occurred as a result of a debate between users over whether or not the war in Ukraine is real. According to Kotaku's CC Jiang, who viewed the server's chat history after a few documents were leaked, a couple of server members reacted positively, and then the conversations after that were entirely again about Minecraft, without anyone calling attention to the notion that a federal crime had just been committed. Eric Toller, an investigative reporter for Bellingcat, told CNN, quote, this sh was sitting in a Minecraft Discord server for a month and no one noticed. Now users from that server have been deleting their accounts in hopes of not being incriminated. Discord Incorporated is working with the US government to investigate the incident and the company did release an official response stating, it is Discord's highest priority to ensure a safe experience for our users. When we are made aware of content that violates our policies, our safety team investigates and takes the appropriate action, including banning users, shutting down servers, and engaging with law enforcement. As of now, the original leaker's account and all of their posts on Discord have been deleted, but apparently the FBI is treating the situation as if an intentional treasonous act has been committed. So if the leaker is caught, they're likely gonna face a much larger punishment than just a hefty fine. And that's where our story's in for today. Pretty wild. It's interesting to consider Discord's responsibilities in all of this and you know, how, what they're actually liable for in terms of hosting a platform where these leaks are happening and laws are being broken. So it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward. Thank you so much for watching.
for more video gaming and updates. Stay tuned right here to Inside Gaming.